الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد و علیہ و صحبہ وسلم ام برحبت فلّہ فرام دوز اثار آف دا سلف صالح ردوان اللہ علیہم وچ مینشن دی امپورٹنس آف اسٹرائیونگ ان دس لائف اینڈ ہیونگ ڈس کمفرٹ ان دس لائف in order to achieve the comfort of the hereafter comes the athar of Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu who said man arad al-akhirah adara bid-dunya wa man arad al-dunya adara bil-akhirah ya qawm fa'adirru بالفاني للباقي and this is in Asir أحبت في الله in this أثر of Abdullah bin Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with all the sahabat of Rasul صلى الله عليه وعلى عليه وسلم رضي الله تعالى عنه مجمعين Abdullah bin Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه he said من أراد الآخرة أضر بالدنيا whoever desires the hereafter Meaning the life after this, after this, this time that we're in, this worldly life. Whoever desires, desires the akhirah, the hereafter. Meaning they desire to go to Jannah, they desire to go to paradise, they desire good. Will be harmed in the dunya. And whoever desires the dunya, whoever desires this life. You know, they, they just want to, the, the, to eat, to sleep, to drink, to have relations. That's it. They want wealth. They want this. They want to indulge and immerse and immerse their hearts in this life. Then they will be, uh, will be harmed with the akhirah. Meaning because they attach their hearts in this life on materialistic items. That doesn't mean that you're going to hell because you're into materialism necessarily. Depends on the level. It depends how much your heart is deviated to where you're... Are you willing to compromise your Islam, compromise your worship, compromise your closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, compromise your sunnah, the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, your adherence to kitabi wa sunnah. Are you willing to do that in order to fulfill desires of this world? Then that's going to make the difference in your sacrifice of the hereafter. So, women arada dunya So whoever desires this worldly life, meaning that's where their heart is attached to, they'll be harmed by the hereafter. Why? Because perhaps it can reach to the level of worshipping the dunya, worshipping material things. Then he said, Ya qawm, O people, فَأَضُرُّ بِالْفَانِ لِلْبَاقِ O people, Be harmed by that which is going to, to disappear. That which is not perennial. That which is not everlasting, meaning this life. Have discomfort. Have difficulty in this life in order to have that which will remain forever, which is Jannah. Which is the paradise, which is the good. That's what we want to achieve. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.